round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Anthony Pettis is one of the best kick... Oh! 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 That's it! He's out! He is out! Wow! What a knockout! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. What a way to start off a video. A crazy knockout in EA Sports UFC 3. I want to welcome you guys. We're going to be talking about controls today. Now, this is my first official EA Sports UFC 3 video, and I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on over at EA. Now, they really haven't hinted too much to the controller change but some people have found out through the grapevine of course things leaked but i had to give you guys everything right here in this video now as far as the stand-up game everything has completely changed man the stand-up game is no longer what you thought it was if you thought you were great in stand-up you might get back to that but it might take you a week or two to learn these new controls me personally after playing the beta early, it still was taking me a little bit of time to get readjusted because muscle memory kind of kicks in. And with the new controls, oh man, sometimes you'll think you're blocking and you're not. Oh man, I, I tried to hug a guy thinking I was going to block. Man, it, 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 was, it was serious, man. But I just wanted to show you guys the stand-up game as far as basic striking. If you notice on the controller, L1 is now your technical modifier, which is for hooks and stuff like that. The body modifier is now L2, where you have to throw to the body. So if you want to throw a hook to the body, you have to press L1 and L2. Now, signature modifier is for the fancy kicks, the fancy punches, power punches, power kicks, things of that nature. Now, as far as blocking, oh man, blocking is insane on this game now. Now, instead of people having a parry all day, they've completely taken parrying out of the game. Yes, guys, you can no longer parry in UFC. Now, as far as blocking goes, you can press L2 and you can kind of block. You can stop progression of strikes as well as you can defend takedowns all with R2. But one big thing is, guys, if you want to block to the body, you have to press R2 and L2 to block to the body now i know a lot of people are probably going to have a big problem with that you know starting off but trust me you guys will get used to it and really there's nothing we can do because ea has changed the controls so you guys still live with it also i know i really haven't said anything about the clinch and the ground basically guys the clinch and ground haven't changed that much except for the striking now if you remember what I said about standing up on the ground and in the clinch, you have to use the modifiers. So if you want to throw body shots, you know, you're going to have to press L2. If you want to use the signature shots, you know, you're going to have to use R1 and vice versa. So make sure, guys, if you're one of those ground and pound people, make sure you remember, man, get in half guard and throw those body shots and throw those shots to the face. I'm going to tell you now, before I get up out of here half guard is now the new top mount i know you guys probably don't understand what i'm saying right now but top mount is no longer op half guard as long as you're on top is op bro but make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel make sure you tell a friend about this video and make sure you re-watch it to get the controls peace